During pregnancy, your body realizes that there is a little foreign person living inside of your body. And so the body does all kinds of things to try to make sure that it doesn't fight that little foreign person that's living there. But the problem with that is it also means that you can't fight things like the flu as well as you could if you weren't pregnant. Well, I think the number one thing to know is to be up to date with your vaccinations before getting pregnant. And that's really important because there's certain vaccinations that are not safe in pregnancy, such as rubella um, or the chickenpox vaccine. So if you um, are not immune to rubella or to chickenpox, then we wait until after pregnancy and then do the vaccination at that point. Now let's talk about the immunizations that you should think about getting during pregnancy, and there are two main ones. The first is the flu. It's safe to get at any point in pregnancy, and you actually get a double benefit because it both um, helps and protects mom from the flu, and even if you did get it, you're gonna get a much milder form of it. Um, and it also protects the baby because the baby isn't gonna be able to get that vaccination until they're six months old. The second vaccination to get is pertussis. We recommend getting that between 27 and 36 weeks of pregnancy, and you might say, you know what? I already had that vaccination and it doesn't matter. We still recommend getting it during pregnancy um, because for a couple of reasons. One is that we all got that vaccine when we were little for the most part, but immunity for that vaccine tends to wane over time. So um, there've been lots of whooping cough or pertussis outbreaks in little babies and where are they getting it from? their direct caregivers. So mom should get it during each pregnancy during that time frame because it's gonna provide protection for both mom and baby because that baby isn't gonna be able to get that vaccination until they're two months old. So you're gonna pass along some of your immunity to the baby. And then the other thing is any person providing direct care for the baby. So dad, grandparents, close family friends, babysitter also should be up to date with that pertussis or that whooping cough vaccine.